Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. It is Wednesday, December 6th, Vlogmas Day 6. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hey. Ho. Oh. Hey. Ho. Oh. Happy Wednesday. I'm in a hurry. I'm talking to y'all while I wait to make my coffee. I got up late. <coughs> I got up at 7. <coughs> Again. This was tired. As y'all already know. Because I've been constantly saying it often. That's a late. Ooh. And then, you know I gotta get up and brush my teeth, wash my face, get ready, you know. Cause I'm going or not. I mean out or not. Get up there with no stank breath. And since I'm on the phones and wanna actually take his calls. I'm make sure I sign in all the time. For some reason, it has been taking long. My computer has just been taking forever to start to restart. Load up. So I got the whipped cream. Cool whip from the dollar store. So house is clean, just got a few dishes to wash, a pot, a top, a plate, and some spoons. <laughs> Y'all want to get ready? Get my day going. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Good morning! Hey guys, good morning again. It is 9.30. I'm on my first break of the day. How are you guys doing? It's awful hot in here. I figured I'd come talk to you guys. <clears throat> Let you know how my morning was going. And see how your morning is going. I had to put something on the end of that. <coughs> my morning is going pretty good, you guys. It's definitely busy. Calls are coming in. Um, <clears throat> it started off a little slow, of course. But they're starting to come in now. Um, let me go ahead and wash this. But this morning, you guys, I was sitting there and I started to look up temporary jobs and things like that. I really don't want to work a third shift job. You know? Ugh. I don't want to, but if I have to, I will. So I took this out last night. I put it in the refrigerator. It's still freaking almost froze. So I'm going to put it in some cold water after I finish washing these dishes. Um, that's what we're going to have today. And this is a Purdue chicken. Whole eight piece. Um, it's actually like a whole chicken cut in half, basically. And it was only $3.98 at that one. That's Cermat. Um little grocery store on Cicero, 23rd Cicero or something. Their meats are so cheap over there. However, you do have to be careful because I have seen sometimes where I go in there and I look at some of the meats and they don't smell or look right. <laughs> so, cheaper ain't always better, but, you know, if that's where you have to go, that's fine. Just take your time and, and pay attention to what, you know, you're picking up, you know. Because I know sometimes I'm in a hurry and I don't always pay attention. But I noticed when I went in there one time, I was like, I see this is a place. They have a lot of good meats, inexpensive, but I do have to pay attention to the prices. I mean, the, um, you know, the meat. But way better than, you know, Leamington's and all of them, like, they're freaking expensive. And I think it's more Spanish stores, usually more, you know, uh, Spanish people in there. And all the workers are pretty much uh, Spanish that I've seen. I haven't seen any workers that were not. 
Um, but it's a really nice place. Everything else I think is crazy expensive. I wouldn't buy anything else from there. Only that meat. Anything else I, I just wouldn't. It's just ridiculously hot. You know, they may have some little things to catch little deals here and there, but other than that, and, and their, their um, produce is pretty good too. Their produce, produce is pretty good, you know, onions and bell peppers and things like that were bad. Um, but I would say just, you know, the meat and even then just pay attention to what you're picking up. And that's what anywhere you go, to be honest with you, you know. But yeah, guys, just let's, let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk. I hope you guys are doing well. You know, I am a little bummed, like I was saying yesterday, because I was deferred. I can't um, donate until February because my blood was starting to clot. Um, just, it's crazy because I'm drinking water, but it just, it just wasn't enough. And I can get it with all the pork that I've been making and eating and buying because right now it's the cheapest. You know, so I get it. Like if I'm going to eat that and drink coffee, which dehydrates you, I need to drink even more water than what I have been doing, right? And you know, it's probably a good thing too. My body probably just needs a break as well. You know, <clears throat> yes, it's a bummer because that extra help, you know, makes a big difference. Really does. Okay. Sorry, guys. I guess this is that product, the top that I use um, when I'm baking, so it always gets a little burnt. So it takes a little, a little bit of clean. And let me show y'all what I'm using too. Y'all gonna be like, what? These are so good, y'all. You know what this is? I got it from a dollar store. And it's supposed to be used for your skin. Like a loofah. When you're bathing in the, t in the bathtub. Or the shower. Well, I'm using it. To wash dishes with it. <laughs> and it works perfectly fine. I originally bought it because I was going to use it to put, and I still might have a second one, um, to put paint on it and stick it on my fireplace to give me the brick look. <clears throat> That's what I was originally purchased for. <laughs> so, woo! Y'all, this water hot. I love this pan because it's, it's non-stick. Ooh, this water hot. Oh. Woo! So, let me get some cold water in there. And if you're not going to use it, I'm going to go ahead and put that back in the freezer. Go ahead and take this out. Well, this is what it looks like, guys. Huh? Looks like they took a whole chicken and <laughs> cut it in half, folded it in half. I'm out of bell pepper, but I still have onion. And my seasoning. I'm going to hook the bird up. Go ahead and put this in the garbage. Sorry guys. 
I didn't realize how heavy that the bag was. Got this thing, and I missed it. I dropped it. Look at the mess I just made. I gotta clean up, y'all. Lord. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, and I don't Shorts coming on. Alexa, what's the temperature today? Good morning, Pa Sheen. Right now, it's 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 40 degrees. Thank you. back starting to hurt y'all.
of some cold water. Fill his thing up with some cold water really quick. And now I'm going to fill it back up and put it in the freezer. And get on back in there and start working. I didn't mean to spend my break doing this, but what happens when you're in a hurry and you drop away something, you got to clean it up? At least I do. <laughs> Y'all prepared? Hung out with me. Oh, Jerry just took a shower. Look, left everything open. Crazy. All right. Let me get back to it. One minute to spare. Yeah. Actually, no minute. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm on my last break of the day. Started at one forty-five. I'm just checking on this food and you know what I was incorrect it was not a whole chicken cut in half it was actually a chicken chopped up <laughs> um, so I put part of it in the oven and I put some of it in the air fryer so uh, I'm checking on it now this is what it looks like just gonna turn it around Sounds good. I put aluminum in the bottom of my uh, in my air fryer as well. Ooh, hot. to say that it's done. I'm just gonna take these smaller pieces out and I'm gonna put the one back in there for a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that that one cooks all the way through. No, it looks perfect. Still gonna put it in there just a little bit longer. Anyway, <clears throat> how's you guys day going so far? I hope um, so far your day has been super grand. Um, my has been pretty okay. And I think what I'm going to do is like a butter, uh, pow a garlic powder, and I'm going to do lemon powder and butter um, in the pan. Or should I just do, should I just add barbecue sauce? Good question, right? a little garlic powder on it. Okay. I don't want to do too much. Where's my lemon pepper? 
really need to get this organized a little bit better. Just to season it like I want it. That is actually good. I don't think I'm going to add any barbecue sauce to that. Like, there's barbecue sauce here. So if Jay decides he wants to add some, he can. But that's actually pretty good, just as it is. I definitely didn't put a lot of seasoning. It could have stood for a little bit more salt. But I don't want to overdo it at all. Sorry, guys, I'm doing multiple things. Decided to grab myself a piece of cheese. Let me just check on what's in the oven. So you guys can see it. Woo! Using lemon pepper. And I'm going to add garlic powder. When I came in, I was in such a hurry uh, because I was working when I was putting this on. I seasoned it. Um, but I didn't want to over season it. And I wanted to fry it first on top, but I didn't have a chance to do that. So, okay. And then I'm just gonna put a little black salt. Very juicy so far, y'all. All Leave that in there for a little bit. Yep. Yeah, my dad is going by. It is busy. I've been drinking water. Tired of drinking water? <laughs> I'm gonna stress too much about it since I'm not gonna be donating for a while. But I am definitely gonna continue to get in my water intake. I'm gonna sit y'all down for a moment here. So I'm gonna to go down a bit.
<sighs> saw a lot of cars out there that booted. And I know I heard some noise out. <sighs> I know I heard some noise out there earlier. But I didn't think anybody's cars were being booted or anything. But I guess, guess so. Anyway. Sorry guys. Yeah, just dropping stuff. <laughs> I had food in my teeth. I was trying to get it out. It's so annoying. <sighs> oh, I had the heater on too. But it's hot. Okay. <sighs> anyway, guys. Whew. Can't wait till the work part of the day is over. I'm so tired. I just um wanna try to just relax. I still haven't really done any studying. I'm just chewing. I feel like a, a, a fat kid. Lord. Mm. I gotta take this medication. I was watching Anthony of Van Life a little bit yesterday. And he was talking about how he had taken a shower for the first time in his uh, trailer van. His, you know, travel trailer. He was talking about how he did not like it because it was too tight. Right? And we knew that when he first was looking at it, he, he said that. He was like, hmm, this is going to be too tight, right? Now, as far as height-wise, it's perfect because he's short. But when I was looking at him standing in it, I was like, well, he could maybe just wash up, take a shower sitting on the um, the the toilet that they had in there, right? But when he was reviewing, he was like, he couldn't even do that. He was like, it was so tight that... Um, He couldn't really turn or do anything and then the shower curtain kept getting in the way he didn't want to you know pull it out because then you know you would get water all over the floor type of thing but he said it was just too tight and when you try to sit on the, the compact the little toilet that they have in there he kept sliding off of it So he was like, he won't be doing that. He'll do what he's been doing for all the years of, of van life. He's been living in his van. He has not had a shower in his van. He has gym memberships and things like that. And you know, the bucket and all that, but yeah. He was like, that space could be used for something else. I didn't know a lot of van lifers and stuff. They use certain things like um, certain areas that were meant for one thing. They'll use it for something else like storage. I've seen a lot of them would have a you know, small bathroom like that. They would use it for storage and have stuff hanging up in there. I've seen some that had um, microwaves but don't use them. It was using it for storage. You know, so if you have a small space, you just have to use every ounce of it. You know, and everything has to have a purpose. So, my break is over, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for hanging out with me while I chew. <laughs> talk to y'all later.